Welcome to Findability Caffeine. I'm Heather Letzi, founder of the Findability Group located in Denver, Colorado. And I am Natalie Marlette, and uh, I am the sales and marketing manager for Findability Group. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to talk today about social media corporate policies and how to go about managing this inside your organizations. Right, so I guess a good first question, Heather, is what exactly is a social media corporate policy and why in the heck do I need one? I'm so glad you asked that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the number one question I get when I'm speaking to CEO groups all across mm -hmm. the country, and we do a lot of findability training for corporate executives, and the yeah. first thing that they always say is, no one cares what I had yeah. for lunch. And then we have to start the whole conversation about, it's not about what you had for lunch. It's right. really about real business. They're like, well, I'm not going to open up my company to that. Well, that's, that's too scary. Yep. And why are they scared, do you think? Uh, I think the biggest word that's flashing through their panicked minds is liability. <laughs> and security. Yeah. What is going to happen to my brand when some intern starts writing something online that we don't approve of, and all of a sudden we've got an ugly lawsuit knocking <laughs> on our door, and we've got 1,500 upset cu customers. Right. Or uh, someone who's maybe doesn't know much shares the secret sauce oh, of how yeah. they do their business online yep. in Twitter or Facebook or something. Yeah. So how do they really go about making sure that they can open these platforms up, but do it in a way that's going to be safe? Right. And that is why we recommend having a social media corporate policy. Uh, the intention of a social media corporate policy is basically just to, to state clearly and in writing and in a contractual form with your employees the rules of what they can and cannot do on social media. And we're going to see right here at the bottom of the video a URL for a template that we use with our clients that'll get you yep. started on an outline for how to set up a social media corporate policy for your own business. Yep. I mean, what we really recommend when you're looking to take on social media and you're a bigger company and you've got these concerns is starting slow. You know, it's not yeah. something where you want to just open up the floodgates and let it go. You want to pick out one or two social media platforms, maybe even just pick out a team, a social media team. You know, people in your organization that are just fired up, they yeah. like, they're the ones that are constantly nagging you about opening these portals up. Yeah. You know, take, make, make those people put their money where their mouth is, yeah. you know, and say, look, fine, you want to open up these portals, the three of you or the four of you or however many people, yeah. buy them lunch. You know, let them come together and start building this in a way that's going to really appeal to them. They get excited about it. Uh, and start at a smaller level. Yep. Work with the IT team to make sure that they feel comfortable opening up those portals to a limited amount of users yep. at the office. And then uh, and the next really important thing is to, is to have that group come up with a social media rules of engagement. Yes. Well, I think that group was probably the best tailored to come up with that set of rules as they Definitely. navigate. Well, they know because, what they want, too. Right. Well, and they'll also know how your consumers are reacting with you. You know, some industries are really heavily re regulated, so it's yeah. not an option to necessarily an answer all the questions your consumers may have on social media. So, you know, what are some rules and regulations on how you can engage your consumers on those platforms? Right. What are you allowed to share? Yeah. It's okay to talk about these things. These things are completely off limits. Or, yep. you know, we always say, if you're having a bad day, don't talk about it. Right. If you're upset with your boss, it's don't talk great. about it. Absolutely. And if you do talk about it, that'll be grounds for termination. And I think right. that's really where you have to draw the line and say, if you do these things, this will jeopardize your job. Right. Absolutely. Make it very, very clear uh, that this is, this is how we're going to let you open up these portals and yep. that you've got to play by the rules. Yep. Well, and this is also, this policy is a really good opportunity for you to show all the departments how included they are in the process because it's not just marketing, not just sales, it's right. not just IT, it's everybody. So letting everybody come together and develop this policy and addressing everybody in that policy is also a really good way for people to realize, oh, this applies to me too. Right, and I think one of the final takeaways about corporate social media is that when you're at work, mm -hmm. you're talking as the job that you held. Absolutely. Hold. And that you're not talking about anything else, you're not talking about the cocktails you had yeah. last night with your girlfriends, you're right. not talking about how you're taking the dog to the vet, you are talking about anything that has to do with your job, your responsibility, or reaching out to people who do what you do yep. in that same space. Absolutely. And that, that's what you do. You're not, we're not giving you card launch access yeah. to get find <laughs> all your friends from high school. chatting it up. Yeah. <laughs> all your ex-boyfriends, right? Yeah. You're like, woo, you know, yeah. I'm going to go party. That's not what we're talking about here. So yep. um, download the corporate media um, uh, URL that we've put onto the video. And sure. um, don't be afraid. I mean, this is a majorly powerful resource that your company yeah. can leverage. You'll look cutting edge. You'll be accessing a group of users that maybe your competitors haven't gotten to yet. Yeah. So the quicker you act, the, the better. better. 
So Absolutely. thanks for joining Findability Caffeine. Uh, this is a weekly video show that we put on here in Denver, Colorado. And uh, it's based, of course, the premise of the Findability Formula, which is the book I wrote uh, for John, by John Wiley and Sons. Yep. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash... <laughs> what is the URL? H. Let's H. Let's see. <laughs> I should know that, right? You should. I know. Also, if there's anything you'd like us to cover in, the sh in an upcoming show, a topic you'd really like us to chat yeah, comment about, comment on the video. We'd love to know about it. Also, if you've got any questions about anything we've talked about in any of our videos, we'd love to hear from you. So we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Bye.